Francis emerges as the rising star in the boxing realm, with Mike Tyson stepping in to ensure that his time in the ring becomes legendary. Initially, it began with Mike training Francis for his boxing debut, aiming to challenge the undefeated champion, Tyson Fury. However, this evolved into a comprehensive mentorship. The boxing community has embraced this partnership wholeheartedly. As someone relatively new to the sport, Francis required the guidance of an experienced figure, and who better than Mike Tyson for the role? Iron Mike has everything mapped out for the Predator. Despite the clamor from the fighting world for a rematch between Fury and Francis, Mike has different plans in store for the fighter. Without further delay, let's delve into Mike Tyson's advice to Francis, suggesting that he should avoid the Tyson-Fury rematch and instead fight Deontay Wilder. The initial meeting between Tyson and Francis in the ring left the entire fighting world yearning for more. No one anticipated such a closely contested match, but Francis truly delivered. He gave Tyson Fury a formidable challenge, but ended up losing due to biased judges' decisions. In the world of fighters being unfairly judged in significant fights, the solution often lies in rematches, a familiar concept. As soon as Tyson and Francis exited the ring in Saudi Arabia on October 18th, fans took to social media to discuss the possibility of a rematch. Rather than settling the score and determining the ultimate champion, this fight only left fans with more unanswered questions. Currently, Tyson and Francis are in discussions to finalize a rematch. According to Francis, there was a clause in the contract allowing him to activate a rematch. But there's a cautionary note. Don't expect it to happen soon. Francis's mentor prefers that he seek a new opponent instead of facing Tyson again. Here's the rationale. Iron Mike believes that a rematch won't benefit Francis much. As a newcomer in the boxing scene, the Cameroonian requires career-defining fights to ascend in the boxing world. Engaging in a rematch against Tyson Fury solely to prove a point would be futile, and those sentiments echo Mike Tyson's perspective. Notably, the entire fighting community witnessed Francis outperform Fury in the ring, leaving no doubt that he was the superior fighter between the two. Despite Fury walking away with the victory, there's an undeniable sentiment that Francis truly earned it, making him the victor in the battle of the toughest fighters. However, continually subjecting himself to months of repetitive training might not significantly enhance Francis's career, particularly if the expected outcome remains unchanged. Now, the plot thickens. Mike Tyson openly accused Tyson Fury of cheating and influencing the judges' decisions right after the scores were announced. Tyson believes that there's a bias within the boxing board, citing previous similar occurrences. Consider this. An MMA star triumphing over an undefeated boxing champion in his debut fight didn't sit well with many critics. To clarify, Francis's remarkable performance was exceptional, but his victory against Fury didn't align with the best interests of the Boxing Commission, resulting in him being unfairly deprived of what should have been rightfully his. Many fans are labeling it as the most significant robbery of the year. Consider this, the Fury name holds immense significance in the boxing world. It's no secret that the Furies wield substantial influence. When both Tyson Fury and Tommy Fury secure victories through questionable means in the same months, it's hard to believe it's merely a coincidence. There appears to be something happening behind the scenes, and the fight community is starting to take notice. Interestingly, both Tommy and Tyson faced opponents from different backgrounds, either a pro boxer versus an MMA star or a pro boxer versus a YouTuber. Consequently, the Fury brothers emerging victorious wasn't particularly surprising, but their wins were undeniably controversial. The speculation arises, could the Furies be influencing the judges? However, that's a discussion for another time. Now refocusing on Mike Tyson, the boxing legend firmly believes that no matter the effort Francis puts forth in the ring, Fury will ultimately prevail. Therefore, the wise decision here would be for Francis to seek a different opponent. And guess who Mike has in mind? If you guessed Deontay Wilder, you're absolutely correct. Picture this, Deontay Wilder versus Francis. Now that's an intriguing prospect. While Francis is widely regarded as the hardest puncher on the planet, Wilder's power-packed punches come quite close. This matchup promises to be thrilling. If Mike Tyson is orchestrating this pairing, rest assured, he's got it all planned out. The boxing legend keeps his promises, and he's assuring fans of an electrifying showdown between Deontay and Francis. After dealing with Fury, Francis mentioned a few names of potential opponents. In his search for the next match, Francis had a list of potential opponents, including names like Stipe Miasic and Anthony Joshua. However, Deontay Wilder's name stood at the top of that list. 
Even Eddie Hearn, whose insights hold weight in the boxing world, expressed enthusiasm for this matchup. Hearn's opinion is valued as he possesses deep knowledge of the sport. According to the boxing promoter, a fight between Francis and Deontay Wilder will go down as one of the most monumental bouts in the sport's history. Consider this, both Francis and Wilder are among the few fighters who have given Tyson Fury a tough challenge in the ring. They're not to be underestimated. When pitted against each other, it promises to deliver the intense and closely contested battle that fans crave. What sets this apart is the potential absence of biased judgments, allowing this fight to truly determine the superior fighter. Moreover, a clash between Francis and Wilder has the potential to solidify Francis's standing in the boxing world following his remarkable performance against Tyson Fury. Numerous fans expressed on social media their belief that Francis possesses the capabilities to emerge victorious against opponents like Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Their reasoning stems from the notion that if Francis could outperform Tyson Fury, defeating Wilder and AJ would be comparatively effortless. Tom Aspinall echoes this sentiment, affirming that Francis has demonstrated his superiority over Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. While labeling it as proved might be an overstatement, there's a consensus that Francis has firmly established himself at the same level as these two renowned boxers. In hindsight, many of us underestimated Francis's abilities in the ring. However, his unwavering dedication, coupled with his background in MMA and his exceptional punching power, has elevated him to a formidable presence in boxing. And let's not overlook the invaluable influence of Mike Tyson's wisdom and training. It's widely acknowledged that Mike's guidance played a pivotal role in Francis's impressive performance showcased in Saudi Arabia. If it weren't for him, I'm certain the fight's outcome would have been markedly different. Thankfully, it surpassed our expectations and turned out even better than anticipated. Now brace yourself, because Wilder vs. Francis is anticipated to surpass that. But that's not even the most thrilling aspect. Hold on to your seats, because Wilder is eyeing something unprecedented. Ready for one of the most anticipated crossovers in the fighting world? Wilder doesn't just aspire to face Francis in the boxing ring, he wants to take the battle to the octagon. Yes, you heard that right. Imagine one of the most significant transitions from boxing to MMA. Unless you've been living under a rock, you're likely aware that Wilder has been contemplating an MMA debut for some time now. He expressed, I'm thinking about doing both UFC and boxing. To keep the activity alive and keep it going, I'll be a dangerous man in the UFC, bro. With those emphatic words, he hinted at his intentions to enter the UFC arena. Wilder even mentioned breaking the king hitting bag machine with the smaller four ounces gloves, emphasizing his power. Let's be realistic here. When we assess Wilder's prospects in the octagon, it's evident that while boxing is a fundamental skill in mixed martial arts, pure boxers haven't historically had remarkable success in MMA. Nonetheless, there's always the element of surprise, and the only way to truly ascertain Wilder's capabilities in this arena is to witness it firsthand. Initially, Wilder was poised to fight Francis for his boxing debut before Fury stepped in and snagged that opportunity. Despite this setback, Wilder remained undeterred. Now that Fury is no longer in contention, Wilder is eager to reclaim his chance to face Francis. Mike Tyson is lending his support to this notion. Consider this. It's a win-win situation for Francis. He recently disclosed his desire to make his PFL, Professional Fighters League, debut and venture into the octagon. MMA holds a special place in his heart, and he's not prepared to part ways with it, irrespective of his prowess with boxing gloves. This opportunity presents Francis with a chance to make his PFL debut and advance his career in both boxing and MMA simultaneously. Simultaneously, Wilder holds significant stature in the boxing realm, so a victory against him would undoubtedly elevate Francis's standing. It might even attract the attention of Anthony Joshua, prompting him to consider a showdown with Francis as well. Securing wins against these prominent names could potentially set Francis on the path to title fights. Given these circumstances, it's hard to fathom why Francis wouldn't include clauses for a match with Wilder, especially when his mentor is advocating for it. The unfolding events will ultimately determine the course of action. Are you eagerly anticipating a crossover fight between Wilder and Francis, or perhaps you're leaning towards a rematch with Fury? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.